I have recently implemented uh, live activities for an application of mine, my workout tracker app. And with this new implementation, I had to implement also a new uh, widget extension target. And when I implemented it, I ended up with three different targets. And then I found myself duplicating and repeating the same steps every time I want to increment the build number or set a new marketing version for my application. Because in order to be able to increment it properly, I have to set the current project version, which is the build number and the marketing version in all my three targets. And I was thinking it would be nice if I can centralize this. So in this video, we are going to create a configuration file and we will learn how we can use configuration files to centralize setting our build and marketing version numbers. So let's right click on the project here and select new file. You're gonna search for configuration file. I will call it main config. And here we can declare some properties. And it's usually a, a good idea or a good practice to use uppercase. So I'm gonna just declare them here. First, I will say build number. It's gonna be equal to 115, the current build number of the project. And then the app version is gonna be 3.9. You can set all sorts of values here. You can also use like uh, strings as well. But for the purpose of this video, I won't go so much details into the configuration files in general. Okay, so now we set the build number and app version. Let's go back to our project settings. First, we need to set in our project that you want to use these configuration files. As you can see under configurations in the info tab of our project settings, we have two uh, settings here, debug and release. So for debug and release, we can um, set different configuration files actually, because with the configuration files, maybe depending on the target you're running, like the, you're running on a simulator or it's a release version, maybe you want to set different values in your project. But for our case, we don't need that. So I'm going to set the same configuration file for debug targets as well as release targets. So I'm going to come here and for the main target, I will set main config also for the watch app and the live activity. And I will repeat that for the release as well. Okay, so now we, we let the project know that we will use this main config configuration file. So we want to read values from it. And now we will continue by moving on to our targets. So let's select the main target. And here under versioning, now instead of you know giving the, the, the number directly here and repeating ourselves, now we will read the values from the configuration file. So we're gonna put dollar sign and in parentheses, we will say build number. As you can see, even though the value is the build number here, it is showing the correct uh, value, which is 115, that is declared in our configuration file. Let's do the same for the marketing version as well. Dollar sign inside parentheses app version. Let's do that for the watch target as well. Also for the version. And finally, let's do that for the live activity extension as well. Field number. And here, app version. Cool. So now it looks correct for all of our targets. And let's see, let's try updating here. So let's say we set the build number as 116 and the app version is 4.0. And if you go back to project, as you can see, the value has updated. We can see the correct values for all of our targets. So now we don't have to repeat every time we increment the build or we set a new version. We can directly do it here. So yeah, that's it for uh, using the configuration files for your build numbers and app version uh, for multiple targets. Uh, but you can achieve a lot more with configuration files. You can create multiple different configuration files for debug or release and for different targets. You can create actually some base configuration files and you can import those base configuration files from other configuration files. So it's also possible to reuse some values and you can have some sort of configuration file hierarchy and use different configuration files for your different targets. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to quickly show you how we can set our build number and app version 
directly from configuration file for our multiple targets. But if you're interested to learn more about configuration files, just let me know in the comments and maybe I can make a video focusing more on the configuration files. See you next time.